No, it's not policy if it just opens the door. Okay. Because, yeah. Otherwise, it's too much. Uh, Monsieur le Président, Messieurs les Premiers Ministres, Excellences, Mesdames, Messieurs, ouvrir le symposium de Davos devient chaque année un exercice de style de plus en plus difficile. Tant il est vrai que chaque année le symposium reçoit un nombre croissant de personnalités venues du monde entier. Mais ce symposium de 1983 dépasse vraiment tout ce que nous avons connu précédemment. Nous nous réunissons dans une situation préoccupante pour l'Europe et pour le monde. J'avais l'an dernier à cette tribune mis en garde contre certaines prévisions optimistes. Je ne crois pas à ce moment-là m'être trompé. L'année 1982 n'a pas été une bonne année. Uh, in essence, the uh, International Monetary Fund, through its quotas, lends the resources of the international community. It's not difficult to go one step further. Um, as, uh, as has been agreed upon uh, between the Chinese Enterprise Management and the European Management uh, Forum, the third symposium will be held in Peking in October. <coughs> We do not know yet how many uh, industrialists and businessmen will be arriving from Europe, but uh, we can assure you that uh, um, we will be extremely happy to receive them. Now exist may continue for a long time to come. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much, Mr. Sonianti. John, maybe we'll come back to your point uh, during our discussion. May I ask now, Mr. Arst, so Tom Dunkel, Director General of GATT, uh, in some way I may call you Mr. Rawls today, to tell us whether you see. Well, we have experienced the 2015 very much, very much more. Never before we have experienced the 2015. And found that in spite of this new 2015, to further aggravate the position, we find the release of uh, stock pile of tin. That's the new kind of department We are Vereinbarungen, Konventionen und internationalen Agreements doch eine sehr starke Tendenz aus der Situation heraus zu bilateralen Vereinbarungen und Betrachtungsweisen. Diese, meine Damen und Herren, gehen nicht nur von Land zu Land oder zwischen zwei Ländern, sondern sie gehen heute zum Teil auch von Tochtergesellschaft.
in the spaces between the stars. Astronomical observations show these cosmic particles to have sizes, dimensions, that are exactly typical for bacteria. What I'm going to say this afternoon is that the astronomical particles actually are bacteria. Has any evidence of antimatter been found from the cosmic particles? Not that I'm aware of, no. No, uh, the, the answer is no. Um, I think um, we have lots of evidence of highly energetic events, but the typical radiation that um, one gets um, from antimatter is absent, except in one sense. Let me uh, just qualify my answer there. I believe that the question really means antimatter in the sense of gross matter. Um, the heavy particles of a nucleus and so on, I, I, I interpreted the question in that sense. But there is a, an anti kind of an electron, a positron, and that does exist, yes, that, that, that exists quite widely, the, the, the opposite particle to the electron, and the annihilation radiation between the electron and the positron has been detected, that's all right, but radiation between the proton and the antiproton has not. Justifies the 
And to these skeptics, we should make several points regarding threat capabilities and intentions. Considering threat capabilities, NATO now faces imbalances greater than two to one in virtually all areas of military comparison, and these imbalances continue to grow. Soviet military spending continues at about 14 to 15 percent of its gross domestic product, more than twice that which the United States did. In today's military imbalances, including present and imminent packed qualitative advances, I underscore qualitative advances in equipment, have grown so serious, and the trend so adverse that we no longer can rationalize away this ever widening gap in force capabilities. I stated earlier the two important reasons which have contributed to the accumulation of this huge debt. The lack of transfer of resources and the lack of adequate world growth. I think it's important to stress again these basic requirements. For unless something is done in these two fields, it will be difficult for the world to re-establish a viable and sustainable equilibrium. Initiatives must be taken to induce higher growth rate. These initiatives must come from the so-called locomotives of this world. The period of stagnation has lasted for too long. A coordinated effort is to require by all the major industrialized countries to push for growth. And I am happy that many responsible people have made similar suggested suggestions recently. I think that uh, this symposium would show very clearly that the Davos spirit can be defined by uh, two features, lucidity and hope. Lucidity, that means that uh, businessmen, politicians, who discussed during uh, eight days the various problems of the world are ready to understand fully the complexities of the present situation, the dimension, not only a quantitative dimension, but also a qualitative dimension of the present problems, and uh, that uh, they understand it will not be easy to overcome the difficulties, but with courage and with tenacity, it will be possible for Western countries and in developing countries to master the difficulties of the present world. And hope, hope because things are improving slowly, but I think surely. We will not get big results in six months or 12 months. But on the forthcoming years, I am sure that we will benefit from the efforts made during the last years. And uh, the results will be as far great as it will be possible to maintain and develop international cooperation. Mr. Schwab, you have been as a founder of this symposium. Look how this has been created through years. Do you think that the business management is learning through this kind and what, what kind of results you have got through this? I feel that it is uh, very essential that businessmen who in this environment of today are capable to manage their enterprises in a successful way. And let's not forget, we have still many of those businessmen exchange their ideas and their experience and see that they are not alone and not in a hopeless situation as the chairman of the symposium, Mr. Barr, just explained. <laughs> Thank you.